right so in the previous video we have seen how to uh, add a post uh, add the post comment now let's see how to delete a specific post right so uh, i think there is some issue so whenever i am taking this created that so it's showing the date is created that different time so let's see what is the issue okay post yeah i think it's showing a different date let's see why is that so maybe the reason is the <clears throat> again I think this comment doesn't know which you right which uh, the create uh, which date that you created this thing because there are ambiguity issue again was created that is in two different place, places so what you can basically do is let's create a view for this specific event right so it will solve this issues so let's say v comments so in the v sorry v comments so in the v comments uh, obviously we need okay so let's see what we need uh yeah we need post id then use id image user profile image name and we don't need this one instead of that we need comments content right in body we don't need but we need likes dislikes and we don't need views then we need comments created that not the users created that then we can simply call this one right so i will copy this thing so from comments in i join users on comments user id users dot user id they are uh, yeah we are statement is not necessary then order by comments created the DESC, right? And let's try to create this view. It has found that the from position from comments in our join. Yeah, this is comments right not post because we have we don't have a thing called post okay another issue yeah go to remove this one okay no issues let's click go unknown field comments id yeah because we have to call post id as well as the use id no, not the user ID. ID can be taken like that. Paste it and click go. Another issue. Unknown column users post ID. Yeah. Users post ID. I think it's yeah 
from comments in a join users on comments user id and users id right okay, let's i now okay, now it's working let's check that view okay then instead of calling this entire thing we can simplify it like this or oh, let's say like this no inner joins and no order by require because in default it is ordering so let's go to our post refresh it undefined property uh, why is that because uh, am i calling the username yeah i'm calling it as username that me that could be the issue so go to the comments this must be username so go over here okay, that issue is sold and the create at that uh create at that basically it's not post create at that uh, it must be comment created that so i will drop the existing view again thing so you have to go over here as well and come and create a net now refresh it okay now it's a uh, showing the correct time is eight minutes ago and if i post a new comment so it will say just now okay that issue is resolved now let's add our delete button right so let's maybe yeah i will add the stylings later on <coughs> but you know if it is if you like you can add the delete image as well right now uh, maybe i will choose an image like this there are several stuffs you can choose whatever you like i think this one is quite nice i will okay maybe this one go so download it go to the post let's create a new folder which is comments and let's make it as comment delete btn and i think uh can copy these like buttons to the comments as well then it will be properly modularized but then i need to change this one as uh Come in. Right. See. Okay, working. So I will add a delete button over here, like this, like over here, maybe. So all I have to do is uh, inside the right container. So here is the post name and the post ID thing. Yeah. Inside the uh, 
maybe over here. Right, I can add stick. Yeah, over here I can add that thing. So all I have to do is add a span class. Um so span class. It's the um uh, yeah, span class maybe come and delete button or maybe come and delete yeah, come and delete button and uh, <clears throat> close this pan and let's close this one but Go to the images. Components. Then. No comments. Then this button. So let's get out. Okay, so our comment button is here, but it's not in the correct size. So let's change that thing as well. Let our button stylings. Comment button. I can add maybe it will be maybe thirteen PA the budget goes. But then it will be much bigger. Maybe I can make a delete button. Line height as zero bx. Um, okay, let's make the direct height as zero bx. It's not manipulating because. Hmm. Yeah, I think the easiest way to do this thing is basically I will remove this. Or let's go to the V show sorry, uh, comments again. Now I have this thing okay comment username stuff so what if i make it as not the header so view class comment right maybe let's say sub Header right inside the subheader, we can include this this thing only. Then we can echo out 
uh, maybe we can cross this view like that then yeah second then we can make another view over here which is basically this span class right so you can take the entire thing out like this and go over here and go as maybe and plus right so okay now if i refresh it yeah now this bin is at the bottom because i haven't explicitly declare anything yet I go to the common for the command right header stylings okay so this is the command right header styling so let's make our sub header as display flex and flex direction as row okay now the bin is over here like this right but by having such a space over there maybe requires that okay so it's taking too much space uh, so maybe let's make this as 25 px Okay. So maybe the twenty PX. Mm. okay now it's quite good right so i make the height as zero now i don't have any shoes but in is how am i able to click this image yeah um i don't have this one make this as 30 px Thirty right uh, twenty five. Thing is, I'm not quite good at you know CSS stylings. <laughs> Sorry about that convenience. Okay, so button is there now. When I'm over at this specific button, all I have to do is change because as pointer okay then let's quickly go to our uh what yeah our controller so all i need to do is public function delete comment right so i need to explicitly say which comment id I'm going to delete. So I can create another function over here, like we created in the delete. 
post but now it's taking comment id so it's deleting from the comments the id is equals to this specific id but it's comment id so now we can delete the comment so let's say delete comment so let's go back to the controller then simply call the if then can take like this the comment id but it's delete comment function so need semicolon so if it is delete correctly yeah we can maybe show a flash message as well your comment removed not you can make a die okay so this delete comment needs to be called using ajax request so let's make it as delete function so function delete comment and uh, which comment id i am going to delete comment id right in uh, yeah i'm going to make another ajax request but it's how you know which if uh, ajax post method so comment and delete comment which is this comment and post as the form text method and i will make this as response yeah i think that's the entire thing we have to do and if it is necessary we can you know reload the page as well so comment will be deleted right so location dot reload is the right now i need to instantiate this comment id at my uh, uh you know show comments so show comments so this is the image and whenever i clicking at the image which is on click i have to trigger this function so delete comment and i need to specify comment id as well so take the comment id as well so i think in the view we missed the comment id so let's take that out as well so comments dot comment id as comment id so let's recreate the post view so let's say drop view v the comments and this is the new comment click go right so go over here press it if i go to the inspect and if i take this element so it's in the delete comment id 3 this one yeah so it is deleted right the functionality is working so when i click it it's get deleted and page is reloading right uh, so let's add another comment okay comment is there then uh, you know when when we adding a comment we can make a flash message as well so let's say 
at the comment section in here can make a php flash i think it's this one So you you have commented that when I refresh it, it will be gone. When I deleting it, you have comment removed. I refresh it, it will be gone. Yeah, I think the functionality is working now. So let's add a few more comments. Everything is adding. If I want to delete this one only, it will delete that one only, right? Okay. So you can go to other post, maybe this one, add a comment like this. So whenever you delete a specific comment, that comment will be deleted, but uh, it's showing the comment added, uh, yeah, the comment is removed. Okay, so uh, everything is working. another comment okay right so that's how we delete the comment as well and uh, later on i will show you how to add this comment interactions as well because we need to do it in some sort of a uh, dynamic manner as well because uh, we did the same thing to these comments so you can add comment interactions at any post likewise you have to make the somewhat similar scenario over here the only difference is this is a post interaction and you have to explicitly create the entire uh, behavior for the comment interaction right right so that's it for now and i will see you in the next video thank you